So I just got here, Anna and Heather have been here for a few hours already. And it looks like they're doing a pretty good job of getting it all in there. All the boxes over here are gone. Everything is inside. So let's take a little wander. I haven't even seen it yet. So here's where you come in. This will be one of the entrances that people will be using to come in. Those are the little balls you saw them throwing yesterday. stuff everywhere. As you can see, there's some of my totes that I love. Do you recognize things from different videos? <laughs> Is there anything you'd like me to show you a video on how to make? Oh, I still love that dresser. It's fantastic. So many boxes that I do. They're always giggling. very competitive which is one of the things that I love about her and she's not wrong so I'm gonna ask the question again because I asked if I did have the camera going what you what do you think will be the big sellers I mean I still think succulent balls <laughs> and that's just not because I wanted to say succulent balls you know I posted the video from last night today what video the tour the house tour? Oh, God. <laughs> when I looked a few minutes ago, I launched it at 10. It had like 200 views already. <laughs> so that they, are they going to request more home tours from me? Maybe. Uh, without knowing this area at all, I'm digging the cutting boards. Mm -hmm. Yay. And... I mean, I want to say furniture just because I don't want to... want to take it back, back right? Uh, and... Probably our floral and greenery again. Yeah, yeah we have, always pretty much sell out of floral and greenery. Yeah. So far that we've seen. Right. So it's hard to tell this time of year, too. I feel like we have less in the booth than we did before in the last couple of shows. No, no, no? We, don't. we don't really. No, we have less furniture. Less furniture? But our furniture doesn't do well. Yeah, it's, it's, the, it's, smalls. It. Right, it's the smalls. Right, it's the smalls. But you think there's just as many smalls, and I just feel like it's less full because. There's less furniture? Oh yeah, we definitely, we have, more if smalls. not more than yeah. what we've had at other markets okay. before. Well, that makes me feel good then. But you had a vintage market days so though. We had four spaces, double this booth size, but we definitely had more boxes than we usually do. But we had a lot of newer items. Yeah, but we sold a lot of that new stuff too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that did it. Like, but that was the stuff like we had, Leftover cows and things like that. Yeah. Well, a diamond D, not vintage market. Right. Yeah. The country stuff didn't do as well. At, mm. Yeah. But so, stuff like, weird, it was at our, like stuff like arena. stuff like the Turkish bath towels and things sold at vintage market. Yes, they sure did. Yeah. But we only have three of those. Man, if you touch those, they're just fabulous. Yeah. I've got some at Great American that we need to bring over. Mm. Yeah, because we have three. Especially for the holidays. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think for the fall. But yeah, we definitely have more smalls. 
So, what's your goal for the weekend? <laughs> Let's see. Don't go to this market. Well, My I think own personal goal that's not monetary is to get everything left over in those <laughs> black and yellow tubs. That's those are our backup. Those are all the empty boxes. Everything that we don't need to pack it in boxes. That's, my that's your personal goal. goal. I like that goal pretty well because there's not many of those. There's what, like nine? Based yeah. on expenses of doing an Airbnb, the price of the booth, whatever. You have to make my very, very, very low end is like 5,500. Is my very, very low end. So that's not, that's, that's like, it's not break even, but it's like. And not knowing what the market's like down here. Right, it's not break even, but it's the, like the, like if we do less than that, we won't do this again, probably. You'd probably be happy at like 72. Yeah, mine is like 7,500 is where my happy spot is. But of course, Obviously, like, anything between 5,500 and 7,500 is acceptable, course, but. Like Diamond D was like 6,500 and then Vintage Market Days was like 8,600. And I'm a little concerned about, but if we're in Florida, if people care like COVID and stuff. We will be masked up tomorrow. I'll just die yeah, and I have, I have mine right here. Will be tomorrow. Anything you want to add for our viewers? I have some I have some people that posted on this morning's video asking about like how to do markets and things like that. Um, it's a lot of work. <laughs> um, wear yeah, good, good shoes. Boxes. Start investing in good boxes. Yes. Yeah. That's important. Yes. Good Pack shoes. every inch. Pack every inch. High protein snacks. <laughs> <laughs> good uh, entrance. Good flow of your when setup. When you think you have enough smalls ready to go to market double what you think is enough yeah so like so on that if our goal if our high-end goal is like yours is 7300 minus 7500 if that's the goal how much merchandise do you think we have in here it's at least twelve thousand. yeah once you get to a point where it looks empty mm -hmm. we start scooching the booth in a little smaller well, yeah, and we, do, we have a little backstop and like then what we do is as it gets empty some of the stuff we have sitting low goes up high mm -hmm. so like probably tomorrow at close where we always come early the next morning and like rearrange it a lot because you do get a lot of people that come back a second time yeah and they usually they will come back the last day because they can they can get deals so right and so we don't so we have back stock but mostly it's things we already have at, yeah. yeah they're yeah. duplicates you don't necessarily want to have six or eight of something right. unless it's like the yeah, the greeneries like the little buckets the yeah buckets and signs like this signs. but like i'll double up we'll take two out but like double up. right you don't want to have like eight of those out because right. then because people think right. oh right. i i can come back and get one right and right. you want them to think oh there's only two right. yeah. and so if i don't get it now I'm not getting it. Like like vintage market days, we sold out of the succulent balls and everybody was like, oh my gosh, you only have three left. I'm going to buy these last three, but then we restocked them for the next day. Right. So you want to have enough out that it looks inviting, but you don't want to have a lot of duplicates out unless it's something like these where people are buying multiples and they sell really fast, but they actually look really cute too as so far as greenery. don't put them all in one spot to show like... We've got these on candlesticks and right. things like that. So people can see what they use them for. Right. So we have them displayed and then have back stock. But don't, today I'm going to have the lavenders out and then tomorrow I'll have you right. succulents out. Yeah, you want to have it all. Have it, have some, have something of all of it out and then you can restock overflow. But Plus in it, general. It's very attractive to the eye to see like. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like a flower colors. market here to me. Right. And we always turn stuff backwards and forwards like mm -hmm. go within our parameter of our booth is make sure there's stuff out front that's appealing to the eye mm -hmm. and then we have stuff on the inside right. so a lot of people will just say like do the picket fence and then have everything inside and the, the baskets booth. on the picket fence have done very well for us yes and people, that was a cheap display that was a cheap, cheap display. display yeah it's just and those people, uh what, are there apple stuff? baskets or whatever yeah, yeah. People tried to buy the apple baskets and the picket fence at the last like, market. We were like, no, 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 no. But Nick did tell us, go ahead and sell them. Go ahead and sell them. I'll make some more. Yeah, it's expensive. Because an eight foot section, we have them cut into four foot sections so they're easier to carry. But an eight foot section of picket fence costs like $29 right now. 
and then he just added the two feet. by fours yeah. on the bottom and so we could sell it for like a hundred bucks yeah. and, and he was like he was like sell them i'll make more sell everything take nothing home <laughs> that's the goal well, and to know that people actually prefer the upcycled things to yes. brand new pieces the one of a kind you're not going to find this yeah anywhere else. i do prefer that but like the upcycle that i did with the cutting boards where they were brand new right and then but i upcycled them right in right. yesterday's video those usually sell yeah, or like redoing some. We were talking about these that were the llama signs. We were saying these came out really good. Yeah, we're calling them llama signs they used because be they llama? used to be llama signs, but the llamas didn't sell. So I painted over them and then added a stamp and transfers. Right. Now it's ours. Or like our old candles that we put transfers on yep. now. So we're just kind of repurposing. It was kind of like how I said we added um transfers to these so sometimes those little touches really help things so do you recognize things from the videos everything all of these that are left over it was like one of each there's that one down there that one right here this one right here uh -huh. and I, there was a couple more but it was like one of each of the oh, they're over here yeah we had like one of each left it was nice and make sure you mix in here there's the little Cool. Those redos came out. That used yeah. to be a bowl of lemons. Yeah, it used to be a bowl of lemons. Not that and... and this is all leftover transfers. Uh -huh. Same with this. This is all leftover transfers. Somebody was saying this morning, but aren't transfers expensive? Well, they can be, but if you save every single scrap like I do, they don't have to be. Because then you can use them on all those little, like again, leftover transfers. You know? That and making sure that your new vintage inspired items are mixed in well with your new true vintage and upcycle. Yeah. Like right here, this is true vintage, wow. handmade, handmade, brand new, new, handmade, handmade. Mm -hmm. Nice little. Yeah, so we're trying to make it, it's really difficult to tell what's what to some degree. Mm -hmm. Like, or that if you. If you're buying something that's brand new, manufactured, that you don't feel like it. Right. Sure, but I mean, it's not like it's, like, I don't want that it's new. Like, it still feels like it fits in. Most people don't ask anyway. Sometimes, I'll ask, sometimes I've had people ask if it's authentic or if it's a repro. Right. But... See, and the Embry space looks different depending oh, on the yeah. way you come to it. We found for us that not being just one style and just black and white has worked really well for us. So being far, different has worked well for us. Yeah. So far, it worked really well. Especially here, there's a lot of primitive. Yeah, like like, we have like mid-century cottage core perennial kind of stuff that we have to like paint it in the colors that flow with our food. Mm -hmm. But we can still appeal to that style. Mm -hmm. So I would say overall, our style is cottage core French country. Yeah sort of a combination of cottage corn French country, but there is some farmhouse mixed in, but I like that because I feel like it says that if you, like if you just did the farmhouse style and you spend all that money on farmhouse, like we're also showing you how you can take the farmhouse and make and it, make it cottage core. Right. By adding a little bit of color, a little bit of floral, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So you don't feel like, oh man, but I just did all black and white. Right. Spend the money to redo everything. Yeah, you can still get a few things and they'll fit in. Thank you. 
Right, right.